Hey YouTube! Uh, so this is just a wee intro to a video I did. I discovered something. Unique, no one's ever discovered before. Perhaps. Your standard uh, lever switch for strats and tellies. Uh, you know, it's like a five-way one and a three-way one. This is a three-way one. Well, I found a little bit of a secret about these. Uh, they're both the same switch. Well, kind of knew they were anyway, but they're actually convertible. So you can turn these in. I've not, I've, I've only, I did it with one a couple of weeks ago because I'd managed to break it, <laughs> put it back together and went, hold on. Uh, so I'm assuming they're all like that. So I've, I've basically 100% of the ones I've tried, both of them, this has worked with. Rockin', enjoy. Hey YouTube, this is a, a bit of a different thing. So, this is a standard GP5 way switch. Uh, this is for the Harley Benton that come with crap switches. And it's a Telecaster, so it needs a three way switch. So, I'm assuming, well, whether you, if you see this video so far, then this is a switch that you can change it, it's got some numbers and stuff on it. Um, so, I'm going to take it to bits. So, as you can see, there's wee tabs here. So, see if we just squeeze these. I need to get them to pop off, I believe is how they work, like so. And then this, this should just pop off, like so. And yes, this is one. So see if you look to the way this works. There's a wee ball bearing there, right? As you can see, it's clicking around. So I've, now, I've now dislocated it, but there's five notches there. See if you look on this side of it. There's three notches, so if I take this out, right, it's going to be a pick to put it back in again. There's a wee ball bearing that the the notches sit off. So basically, the notches go dink, 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 dink. But see if you look at this side. Oh, look, there's only three. So what I'm going to do here, which I can now see is not going to be that easy because there's um, this has been melted. But if, if I can cut that off with a Stanley knife blade. that and then like that this middle middle black middle white but mid, middle metal bit should pop off and this is the reason I, I did this because I actually broke a switch it was in bits and I realized hold on what's this doing in here so if I can take this off which is not going to want to come there you go coming off right so, uh, uh, yep yep so if I put this on that way and put it back on again. This might not actually take as long as the last one did. It should just pop on bits. There you go, it's on, right? So now, put this back in here. You see, is it just, just showing up? Right? Bang! Come on. Is this going to work? If not, why not? Just in case of lining up that, see that we bit there clicks in there. And it wants to, yeah, yeah, so it's on. Ah, the wee ball's falling out, damn it. I knew that would happen. I just wonder why is it not actually? So there's a wee stupid metal ball here. It's it a nightmare, you've got to wiggle it onto. I've just seen this. There's a wee, um... Okay, I've got magnetic tweezers. How annoying is that? Right. This is a sticking to the wee metal ball. Right. Bang. You see the wee metal ball? Now I've got to put this in. Here. And do it without... disturbing the wee metal ball. And I want this to click into there, which it's not wanting to do yet. It's now falling off this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I said it was going to be easy, didn't I? That was a stupid thing to say, wasn't it? That, that's that on there. The metal ball. Which I'll use uh, this kebab skewer. Put it in, seeing as it's not magnetic. It's got to sit in that 
we took it there. This is quite difficult to do. I'm looking at my camera. Oh, if I turn my camera upside down, is that going to make a difference? It is. Right, okay. You can see my phone there. I'm just using that as a... I mean, so got it on. Got a wee metal ball. Right, what I'm going to try and do is... This is a bit where the brushes are, so they contact there. So I've got to put this in here without disturbing that wee metal ball, which is a fidgety little bam. Like so. Wee metal balls there. So I'm going to put this back on again. Yes. It's never a three-way switch. Isn't that impressive? Right, and to put this, to get these back, I was just, I've just, just, just been twisting these around like this. To get them to hold it back together again. Oh. And there you go. So, what was a five-way switch? It's never a three-way switch. Isn't that easy? Um... Actually, to be honest, if, uh, the way these are wired up, like all of, all of these circuit boardy ones, in fact most of them, so you basically get two halves of the switch. That's the output, and that's for your pickups one, two, and three. And then it's the same on this side. So that's your output. I'll do this left-handed. That's your output, and that's your pickups one, two, and three. Um, that's the original Stratocaster pickup selector. So you would literally you could choose bridge, middle, or neck pickup. And what Hendrix used to do was wedge in between, which would give you your position, you know, your position two and four. But it's not actually a five-way switch. I mean, I get asked to do a lot of things with, um, you know, five-way switches. Going, oh, I want series in position one and then parallel in position two and then humbucker. You know, like, no, no, it, it only, it's basically, it's not really, it really is only a three-way switch. Well, it's kind of two three-way switches next to each other. Um, in a normal, like a, a strat or something, all you'd really need would be your three inputs and your output, and then you run a tone control over this side of the switch, which obviously does, when you're in the neck position, it connects this to this and this to this, and then when you're in the middle position, it connects this to this and this to this. Sometimes these two are joined together, or there's only one thing in the middle. Um, but basically, that's uh, now a three-way switch, when it was a five-way switch. Can I just, um, maybe if I just... I'm here! Yes, so, upside down, but there you go. So, that's how you turn a five-way switch into a three-way switch. Um, you find five-way switches are actually much easier to get, and are actually cheaper. Even though it is, it's, it's exactly the same thing, all you do is just swap turn around that white plastic bit in the middle, so it's instead of the bit with five notches, or however many notches it is, you, you choose about the three, and you've got a good three-way switch. Rocking!